So a short update, I did actually end up implementing metalness and I started combining everything into um, a single material. So I'm using the RMA convention for those special materials. This means metalness, roughness, and ambient occlusion uh, baked into a single texture. So the red channel would be metalness, G green would be uh, roughness, and blue would be ambient occlusion. So I'm not implementing displacements yet, I haven't gotten around to this, but uh, all the textures on the map currently weigh in at about 37 megabytes. That's actually quite a lot. All the textures are 512 by 512. Let me build some cube maps here, and you can now see it in action. So now there's no longer metalness to the pavement here. We still have the specular highlight. Uh, illuminating that, you know, it mirrors the sun. And the leather still being kind of leather as always, with um, some ambient occlusion actually baked into this surface here, uh, as well as this one. It's very, very subtle though. And yeah, this now looks very proper ish. And so this is what that looks like. Here's the metal texture with that rust on it. You can actually see the ceiling here better, with also some ambient occlusion baked in, and yeah, so that is that. Um, metalness is now implemented. The material file for a thing like this looks like this. You have the color, albedo map defined and diffuse map, normal map here, specular map here, um, displacement. Depending on how good the compression results are, I would like to put that into the alpha channel of the normal map, but I will first look into what other game engines do to um, just make an educated decision. Anyway, hope uh, that was interesting to some of you. Physically based rendering is here. You can use this in all of your fun projects. Like, yeah, that's, uh, that's like Half-Life. working as it should.